OMG, you listen to that? Just know my condo is that crack spot. Okay, hi, good morning. Uh, good morning. I'm out with Yvette, Beat Rice, and she is, she woke me up very rudely, jumped on my bed. And I hate it when people do this. You gotta take prime parking for your stupid motorcycle. Okay. Yvette woke me up this morning so early, I have that giant shirt, woke me up this morning so early, and I was so livid. And she bit me! She physically bit me! That's not funny. She's my baby. So, anyways, we got a lot of stuff to do today. Today is the wedding. I talked about that yesterday, but today we're going to a wedding and not my wedding. Yvette, is it your wedding? No. It'll never be my wedding. Oh, I was Ouch. Oh, Edwin, shout out! So, yeah, so now I we gotta. I don't have shoes. I need shoes. What does Yvette need? You don't need from Target. I need hair stuff. Hair stuff. I, and then I got I so I gotta find some shoes and then I need to get my eyebrows waxed because I didn't do it yesterday and they're never get they're not they're still out of control and my phone is broken I don't have a phone Yvette overheated her phone like an incomplete I don't so. think I overheated it I it's, think it's, it's overheated I think it's gonna die I know forever. I know how to, I bet you by the time it's the end of the day today the phone will be fixed well I hope to God it is anyways that's what she did all right we're gonna go to Target now oh my god <laughs> Totally Yvette is like one of those people you go to the store with and she gets distracted and oh, then yeah. she'll buy 13 things she doesn't need. Oh yeah, this is this is happening. Yvette, you don't need that. Should I get the red one? No, one? Yvette, you don't need no, that. And Yvette, I'm serious. It's not gonna be here the next time I come. Yvette, we're on a we're on a time crunch. Just a little bit. <gasps> Fifty dollars. Yeah, my dress is similar to that, except it's my don't tell nobody, but I already wore the dress. It's my, it was really expensive, so I'm glad you're wearing it again. Right, it's my graduation dress. So Who bought you that? I can't remember. Just Were you gonna give me attitude? I'm gonna tell you back. Hmm? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh Jesus! Oh, these are hot. I'm not gonna wear those. Wow. I told you my toes are not done. Well, whose fault is that? Mine. We we just came out of uh, Target, and I ended up getting a jacket I didn't need, but it's all good in the hood because it's pretty cute. It's a pretty cute jacket, right? Yeah. It's yeah. Pretty cute. It was pretty cute. Even what's wrong? I'm mad. Why? What'd you do? Because I have issues. I go into stores and I buy things that I just I don't need. I don't need them. Yeah. I don't need them. That's true. I've I've gone into many a store with her, and many we need stores. one thing, and she comes out with. I easily could have walked out and spent ten dollars. Yeah. But instead, I don't want to talk about. She it. spent a lot more than ten dollars. Now we're gonna go to call so if I can shop a little more. <coughs> no, no, no. We're strictly buying a present. She needs a present. For the wedding, she didn't buy them a gift yet. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. For the Malaritos. For the Malaritos. Hey, Malaritos. Hi guys, congratulations on your big day. It's wedding day. Woo! Go ahead, sing this chorus. the one who understands you in you along, so can get you see you belong with me. Nobody belongs with Taylor Swift. <laughs> that girl got more issues than I do. <laughs> okay, and now my eyebrows are done. They look better? They look a lot better, right? Yes. Yeah. They Oh. Yeah. yeah. The lady was she took forever. But but I don't know. But at least you don't have one eyebrow anymore. When I get my if you guys get your eyebrows waxed, um, I, my eyes always tear up. Does that happen to you? No. No? I love the feeling of getting my eyes. No, I, no, I like the feeling too. It feels good, but I might, it's like my tear ducts get pulled at and like they just, a little tear comes down. I and it's get a little sad. And it doesn't hurt. It just, a little tear comes out. It's very weird. But I love getting my eyebrows waxed. It feels so good. And then after you're like, ah. We also went to DSW. Yeah, we went to DSW and we went to Mr. Pickles. And I've, I've realized. We also went to Charming Charlie. And Charming Charlie's. I realized since I've started vlogging, I have eaten Mr. Pickles three times. Count them three times. And I bet every single time she had chicken. Uh, uh, no, I get the turkey sandwich. I don't always eat chicken. But what I do, I prefer those eggies. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite song of all time. It just puts me in the best mood. I can have the worst day ever, and this song just... Oh. I do love this song, but it's like my third favorite song of all time. This is my favorite. 
absolute favorite song. It's, it's the music, the words, the, it is just, it could be raining and you're just like, well, oh, I love the rain, but you know what I mean? It's just, that may be all I need. My favorite song of all time. God. My favorite song of all time is um, American Pie by Don McLean. Great song. I think it's McLean. Don McLean. McLean, McLean, whatever. We are currently watching quite possibly one my favorite movie, well, one of my favorite movies of all time. Probably one of the best movies ever made. Ever made. If you're very a, a sentimental person. It's none other than Stepmom. You can't cry with this makeup on. Nope, don't you dare shed a tear. Oh no, well we can't watch the end of the movie then. Who doesn't love Julia Roberts? That, and Susan Sarandon. It's quite possibly one of my favorite movies of all time. I think it would go Mean Girls and then this movie. I have to say maybe this movie then Mean Girls. Oh, I would want to say that, but everyone knows how much I love Mean Girls. I don't know. Anyway, so Yvette's doing her makeup for the wedding. I'm ready to go, except the back of my dress is not zipped because... Lord knows she Lord knows breathe. that I wouldn't be able to breathe, so I gotta wait a little bit. Hey, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. Outfit's on point. Yvette, I'll go ahead and show your outfit. Okay, she's in a pinup dress and she's in two lanes. She's in a pinup dress and she's got her, um, what color is that, plum? I don't know. Hair on point. Hair always, always on point. Hair always on point. Hair is always on point. My hair is also on point. Just go ahead and get a look. Makeup semi on point. Apparently I have a problem with keeping my eyes open when makeup is being put on. And also she has straight eyelashes that go down. Yeah. It's weird. They don't go up. Well, what are you gonna do? So when she blinks, there's mascara all over the place. Well, it's a terrible, terrible thing. I mean, there's not much I can do about that, to be honest. We're on our way to the wedding. My cell phone is still networking, and it's still funny. It's not funny because I really wanted to take pictures, you know. I, you can use my phone. Oh no! How? What a sad life. You know what? I'll even log out of my Facebook, and you can sign into your own or your Instagram, and you can sign in and, and post all the pictures you want. Anyways, so yeah, we're gonna head over to the wedding. Our parents are behind us in the car, following us. And yeah, and we're ready. And we're ready to go. Here we go. Oh, there they all are. Good to go. Yeah. Yeah. There's Edwin. He's so tiny, he could be the ring bearer. Therefore, by the virtue and authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and in accordance with the laws of God and the sovereign state of California, I now present, present you husband and wife. Sin embargo, por la virtud de la autoridad puesta en mí como un ministro del evangelio de Jesucristo en acuerdo de las leyes soberanas del estado de California te pronuncio esposa y esposo what God has joined together let no man put asunder por tanto lo que Dios juntó no lo aparte el hombre you may kiss your bride ladies and gentlemen family and friends I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Abraham Moreno.
we're at the wedding and it's a beautiful wedding but the Giants are playing right now and we need the Giants to win this is very important and so I'm trying to keep updated on the score but it's very very this is a very critical moment of my life so we're gonna try to not cheer and they're about to do the speeches Oh my it's God. bad. Mom, how do you feel? I am so nervous and I want to know what's going on with the game. Yeah, yeah, it's nerve-wracking. Oh my God, oh my God, come on Giants, let's do this, let's do this thing. I love you guys at the wedding, but come on Giants. Quiero agradecer a todos ustedes, amigos, familia, que vinieron a pasar esta noche tan linda con nosotros. De veras se los agradezco mucho. Si están aquí hoy es porque de alguna manera son muy especial para nosotros y se los agradecemos mucho. ¡Pipi! Uh, <ríe> para empezar quisiera decirle gracias a, a Dolores y Ellen por, por prestarnos este hogar tan lindo. Tan, de veras. De veras le ponen tanto, tanto esfuerzo a que quede muy bonito este lugar. You're welcome. So thank you. Yeah, gracias. Just feel like we feel like we're the ones that people in the world to have. Louder, louder! All of you. We can't hear you. Can you hear you, Melody? Can you hear me now? Okay. Okay. So anyway, but thank you so much for everybody. Like he said, Alan and Dolores, we we wouldn't have a wedding if you hadn't let us have it here. So we are incredibly thankful for that. I mean, like as soon as we get home, I had enough time to put on my lucky shirt and my lucky hat. And then I sat down for in my lucky seat, and what happened? Belt scored. So I mean, and my lucky dirty shirt. shirt. Yes. And my lucky dirty sock. Yes. They were waiting for us. They needed our good luck. So now we're winning. It's the 18th inning. Whew. So I freaking pulled up to the McDonald's after the Giants won. Woohoo! By the way, so the Giants win. I pull up to the McDonald's to get some celebratory food as one does i'm getting my food and then all of a sudden what happens boom the lady forgets my drink and i'm like mm, I, got, I better check my bag so i check my bag and she ain't put no apple pies in there i'm like she ain't put no apple pies so i asked danny if she could go in for me danny's here i asked her if she can go in for me she's been like five minutes now something's going on mm -mm. they better give me my apple pies i don't want no drama i just want my apple pies Okay, she finally back. Let's see what kind of excuse they have for this. All right, tell me, so, tell me what happened. So when I went in there, they already knew. They're like the two apple pies, right? I was like, yeah. They're like, okay, we have to bake them. They weren't. They were bake like, them. Yeah. yeah. So they gave me an extra. There's three in here. Hey. Means. And then I'm sorry, I had to peel off the ones off the chicken nuggets because I was like, maybe I could get a free fry, but don't know. Then we got a railroad. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. That's I know okay. You like to peel them, but I that's was like, okay. I was like, in the sake of having free fries, we'll check the drink. Oh. Let's see. Winner, winner, chicken dinner? Hurry up. The camera's flashing. It's going to die. Uh, no. No. Oh, my gosh. All right. So I'm going to try to keep this quick because it's kind of late and I want to go to bed. I've been thinking about something a lot today. And one of the reasons why I started these vlogs is because I really want to be able to look back on my life and think, you know, how was I feeling that day or what was I thinking that day? One of the things I've been thinking about a lot today is something that I think um, we all kind of think about and that is um, our appearance. In today's video, as you guys saw, I wore makeup and I didn't wear that much but um, I did have makeup on. When I wear makeup, which is not often, I don't very often wear makeup, you know, I always get people who say, oh, you look so pretty, you should wear makeup more often. I've gotten people my whole life who have just said, oh, you know, it's, you're just lazy. That's why you don't wear makeup, because you're too lazy to put on makeup, or oh, you're too much of a tomboy. And both of those are true. I am lazy, and I am a tomboy. So, you know, those are two reasons why I don't wear makeup. But 
Another main reason why I don't wear makeup is because I don't feel like I need to wear makeup. Does that make sense? I feel confident enough to go out of the house without makeup on. And I don't always, I'm not always the, the most beautiful girl in the room, but I feel confident enough to go out of the house without makeup on and still feel good about myself. I still feel good about myself, like internally, not just my appearance, but I feel good about who I am inside. That's something I was thinking about today because when I went out to this wedding, you know, you get compliments. Oh, you're so pretty. Uh, you should wear makeup more often. And it's like, it feels nice to get compliments. It definitely feels nice to go out of the house and get compliments. I think the thing that is the most important to me is that I don't feel different if I have makeup on or if I don't have makeup on. I feel the same inside. I don't know how I'll feel in a couple years. Maybe I'll wear makeup every day or maybe I won't. I still won't be wearing makeup, but I want to look back on this and think this girl right now, right here, sitting here, feels confident enough in herself to think, I don't need to wear makeup and I'm not trying to be conceited. I hope it's not coming off as me like on Instagram. I hope it's not me coming off as uh, being like conceited, like, oh, she thinks she's gorgeous. That's not true. I just feel confident about myself physically and also mentally. I feel good about everything going on in my life. So to me, makeup has never been something that I needed. And if you're a young girl, I know there's young girls out there um, watching this right now. And if you're a young girl and you're starting to think about wearing makeup and you're thinking about, oh, you know, I would be so much prettier if I wore makeup. I want you guys to know that the makeup does not make you pretty. It's your confidence that makes you pretty. And if you're not confident about yourself, no amount of makeup in the world is gonna make you feel good about yourself. No amount of weight you lose or no amount of anything you do, your clothes, nothing matters unless you feel confident enough already in the inside. If you're thinking about wearing makeup, because you want to be prettier, um, that's not the way to do it. You have to feel good about yourself in the first place and then the rest will follow, I promise. Don't, don't start wearing makeup just because you feel peer pressured or don't shave your legs because all the other girls are shaving their legs or you know, don't do any of that stuff. Do whatever makes you feel good. I shave my legs, I just got my eyebrows waxed. I had a pretty um, conceited day today but um, none of that matters. I can go out in, you know, a baggy t-shirt, which I did today. I, I can go out and do anything um, and still feel good about myself in the inside. Find you. Find yourself and what makes you feel good about yourself without having to look for things on the outside to make you feel good about yourself. Um, because what's, I know it's so cliche, but what's in the inside really does matter. That's pretty much gonna do it for today. I'm gonna end the vlog here on this sappy little note. I hope I wasn't preaching too much or anything like that. I just really wanted to, you know, I really wanted to talk about that. And that's not just something for you guys to hear, that's something for me to hear. Um, because I wanna be able to remember how I felt today. And none of those compliments that I get make a difference to me. Anyways, I'm gonna go to bed. Um, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please hit it right down below and also give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I will see you guys tomorrow, as always. Bye.